How do you do? is here on this video. We are here to learn the new features of Revit 2024. It is one of the big releases of Revit in the last few years, and especially the Dark Time. After many years of waiting, finally the True Dark Time is here. You just need to go to the file menu and go to the option, and in color part, you have to change the UI from light to dark. If your PC is on uh, default on dark theme, it will adapt it and you don't need to change it. But in here, let's just uh, put it manually on dark and click on OK and boom, that's great. If you found uh, in some project that you, in this background is not uh, black too, you have to make sure that in visual setting and graphic display option and in the background part, the background is on now. But if in any views, if you need to work in white background, for example, you can go to the view tab and in here you can keep the uh, dark theme for all of the parts, but you can change it for the Canva. In here, click on Canva theme and you will get something like that. It's kind of a layout in AutoCAD and you can bring it back. The next big update that we have in Revit is topography tools, which is completely rebranded and recreated. And anything you know from uh, previous versions uh, are a little bit useless right now. I will create another video to show it completely there. But in here, we will talk about some of the features too. To create a topography, the first thing that you will understand that the topographies are now solids and not surfaces. And also when you bring them in, bring them in a section box, you can see they are kind of floors with uh, variable materials underneath them. And the uh, edit type is kind of like floors too. You can see they are called topo solids. And you can go to the edit type and you can change the layers. For example, for this one, the uh, structure or the earth part is the variable option in here. And the other ones are fixed uh, thicknesses. To create a new one, you have to go to the massing and side. You can see we have completely new logos in here. And we don't have, uh, uh, we don't have some previous uh, options like subregions and like that but we have to do it in another ways and we don't have also the building pad we have to go to the topo solid and if you want to create it from scratch you can do it and from here but if you can if you want uh, even in this version you can create uh, topographies from csv files and also from cad topography files let's go to go to the create from a sketch and in here you have to create the whole area that you want to have your topography like this and you can change the type in here and click on finish and now we don't have any uh, slope in here to create the slopes you have to select the to put solid in here and you can add points a split line and even you can pick support it is exactly like modify shapes in uh, floor but it has a little bit enhanced so it will be much easier in here you can go to the add point in here and then you have two options you can put it on absolute and also along surface but the Revit users are more likely to use absolute as I am but sometimes you can use along, along surfaces for roads and something like that but it's a little bit confusing right now we are just using absolute and let's put it on 1000 millimeter and now let's go to the top part and now we can just add these points in here really easily now you can see we have created our ramp in here if you want to see the uh, points more precisely and better you can select this and in here go to the shape editing and make sure to check the preview points if you don't this check on you can see the points in here and it's a little bit annoying now let's go to the add points again and let's put it on maybe 4000 and now let's create some other ones in here and right now if you want to change the material of some part in previous versions we would use a split region or sub region but right now you have to use a tool which is called subdivide let's just click uh, select the topo solid and click on subdivide and now you can select uh, you can create the area of the part that you want to change the material for example 
this one in here and click on finish and now you can see it has a thickness you can change it and you can uh, choose the thickness but the problem is that you can't give you can't give it a minus uh, thickness and like building pad and you have to work it around with mass voice that I will explain in future video that I will upload but for example let's put it on one millimeter and just let's just change the material to something else like this and now we have the subdivide in here and also in this part you can place some uh, families that are face space and floor base on the topography too let's go to the architecture and component you can see it will uh, accept the faces of this topography and it will be easy to place these in here the next part that i want to cover about topographies are columns and join columns and other elements with the topography which is a huge part in detailing topographies and infrastructure project let's place a column in here now let's just select them and let's bring them in section box right now you can see the column in here let me select it and put it on uh, concrete part you can see the column in here let me give it some uh, minus offset in here minus 1000 and now let's bring the section box in here imagine this as a section and in view uh, in previous version you couldn't just join these and get a great section but in here you just can go to the modify tab and click on join and you can join these two together and you can get a great section in here and even the calculation for the volume will be correct for the topography this is not a new feature but in the new Revit you will get some new sample files and new sample file in architectural part structure and MEP and you can get it by file and open and uh, sample models in here and this is the project that I'm going to show you other features on it the next one is the new template in various versions we had different templates for each discipline but right now when you click on new you will just have two super templates for metric and imperial personally i don't like it because when you use previous uh, templates you will be able to get rid of uh, additional things in other disciplines for example when we want to work with architectural we don't want to have all of the pipe connectors and those things but maybe some people would like it for example when you click on metric and uh, multidiscipline you will see a little bit changes in the first view for example in here we have a scope boxes and also we have some sections and the new elevation maybe we have to get uh, we have to use uh, to it but personally i don't like it and i prefer the previous one the next one is the uh, a little uh, uh, update that we have but we, we useful in bigger projects and when you want to create a better visualization or kind of visualization between realistic and in between shaded and hidden you just can uh, go to the visual styles and in here you can put it on textures it will have the lighting of constant colors but it will be much lighter in comparison with the uh, realistic part you can see it just shows the textures it will be good when you are working on the textures and material assignment and after that you can work on more uh, work on other steps the next one is a modernized project browser right now you can just click in here and search for the family that you want for example this and you don't need to and it is real time that i like and you don't need to right click in here and find the empty spot to right click and search for the family that you want the next one which i like is that you can place multiple views on in on a sheet just one uh, just by selection in the project browser for example let's just uh, go to the new project that we've created and let's create a new sheet in here we have uh, pre-sheets in here because in the new template you have some pre-made sheets in here can be good can be bad depends on your style and in here for example in this sheet uh, let's go to another sheet for example this one let me delete this view and right now you can just select different views in here by control and uh, 
exact same that you select the elements you will select the views in here for example let me just find this view too i don't want this let me select these three and after you selected all of them you can just uh, drag all of them and bring them in the sheet that you want for example this one and now you can see we have all of the views in here and then you can arrange your sheets the next one is which was one of my favorite two alongside the dark theme is align patterns for example we have a floor we want to create a floor in here with patterns for example i have this floor with the slopes in here and then i can align all of the surfaces in once with the new uh, option that we have in align part in patterns put it on the uh, entire surface and when you select the edge press tab and then select the surface and you can see all of the patterns will be aligned to that part or you can just use the selected face by if you need that part and that was it with my seven top uh, new features of Revit 2024 and if you want to get access to all of the exercise files and new tutorials you can go to our patreon page you can find the link in the description and make sure to comment down below which one is your favorite and if you want to create a full project from a sketch in Revit to the final documentation make sure to watch this video in here